Hello, Wastelanders. No, it's not clickbait. Yes, this is Fallout 4, and yes, we will be talking about Frank Horrigan. But first, I want to credit a viewer, the Lil Big Black, who recently told me about a new mod from Warsaw to buff the America Rising 2 Enclave faction called Improved America Rising 2 Enclave. We've covered America Rising and Enclave mods and buffs on the channel in the past, and you might be wondering what makes this mod any better than the ones we've already covered, so let's take a look. In the mod description, you see some familiar touches from Warsaw. Warsaw has buffed most factions in Fallout 4, and the formula is pretty simple. Add elite soldiers to the leveled lists, inject some new weapons and armors to add faction flair, add more patrols or random encounters, and rebalance or buff some overlooked, broken, or specialized aspect of the faction. In my video on buffing the America Rising 2 Enclave, I put together a list of mods that essentially do most of what we see in improved America Rising 2 Enclave by Warsaw. Let's take stock. Add Exo 2 and Exo 3 armors from both Creation Club and Popular Mods to Enclave leveled lists? Check. In fact, my list adds Fallout 76 Enclave Power Armor and Marine Armor to leveled lists as well. Add Heavy Incinerators to Enclave leveled lists? Check. In fact, my list adds Solar Cannons as well. Balance or buff Vertebrates so they are tough against small arms and vulnerable to explosives? Check. Added encounters with other factions in a thoughtful, lore-friendly way? Well, actually no, I didn't do that. That one's pretty good, though. Maybe you're thinking, I'm about to tell you that the Warsaw mod is worth it as a one-stop shop for faction buffs if you don't want to cobble an overhaul together from various smaller patches and mods. That's a pretty good argument for it, but no. The Warsaw mod is worth it because it allows you to give the Enclave Frank freaking Horrigan style legendary boss troops. For those who don't know, Frank Horrigan was the final boss battle of Fallout 2, a notoriously violent superhuman, super mutant enclave trooper created through cruel experimentation with the FEV virus. He was given the title Special Agent and was the largest and most fearsome soldier the enclave could deploy. And now, they can again. So, I downloaded Improved America Rising Enclave and went hunting for the new Sigmas, Sigma Leaders, and Special Agents added by Warsaw. At first, I was seeing the Exo 2 and Exo 3 power armors and incinerators, but those could have been due to the other patches I had in place to buff the Enclave. The Fallout 76 Enclave power armored soldiers were certainly not caused by Warsaw's mod. So I decided to uninstall the Exo 2, Exo 3, and incinerator leveled list patches that I had in place, leaving the Fallout 76 Enclave power armor and solar cannon patches so that we should only see Exo 2, Exo 3, or Incinerators if Improved America Rising Enclave put them there. And it worked. But with some of my other buffs mixed in. It was time to find a Frank Horrigan-like special agent in-game. Initially, I was worried I couldn't produce one, but sure enough, one appeared exactly where I should have expected, guarding an exit door on the oil rig. First impression? This is cool. Sure, it seems like the Enclave's hate of mutants should have prevented them from ever creating a super mutant shock trooper, but the Enclave is an ends justify the means sort of organization, so it's canon and I guess it doesn't surprise me. Justify it however you want, I can't wait to see these troops deployed in battle. In fact, I decided not to wait, jumped back in game, and found a mutant special agent guarding Senator Matthews' office, and picked a fight. With the entire Enclave. Let me tell you, even with Vats on my side, this faction is one tough cookie and the Frank Horrigan-esque special agents are the toughest.
It is at this point that my nearly 140 leveled character lucked out and procked a perk to disarm opponents not once, but twice, causing the special agent to drop both his minigun and his missile launcher. Wow, was he packing. Horrigan was never known for his intelligence, so it isn't surprising that Frank Jr. doesn't know what to do. Now, we might as well talk about the obvious. Only the special agent's head can be targeted in bats, with an accuracy penalty, and he obviously levels with the player because his health pool and damage resistance is ridiculous. Warsaw, you don't disappoint. I'll be including the improved America Rising 2 Enclave mod in my load order and dropping a few patches that it makes redundant because I love having this beast of a faction boss in the game. Help the algorithm spread the word by leaving a like. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Analyzing hostile. Calculating kill probability.